A quick note about the software that I'm going to use. As I said before, I'm using 2011, and there's a lot of reasons for that. Well, a few reasons for that. One is that I own the full copy of it, and I prefer it to some of the newer versions. But the other thing is, because I'm using 2011, if you have anything after that, 2012, 13, 14, or 15, then you'll have at least all the same stuff that I have, plus more, and you can use my files. So I'm trying to use an earlier version so that more people, regardless of what software they have, can use my files and have all the same stuff, like me. Now, if your UI doesn't look exactly like mine does, which it probably won't, and that's normal because I think most 3D artists are going to customize their UI to fit their particular workflow. I can't stand the default UI personally, but I realize some of you might have that, and that's okay. If you want to keep using that, that's fine. You should be able to find everything that I have. It's all there somewhere. Uh, but you can also... I'm going to save my all my UI files. Like if you go here, Customize, Save Custom UI Scheme, then I'm going to save mine out and then make it available for download for all of you. And then what you need to do is customize load custom UI scheme. Find that file after you download it. And then it should load up my keyboard shortcuts. It should load up my toolbars and other, well, let's see, that's probably, that's probably it. Whatever I have, whatever I've modified in my UI, it's going to bring up. So if you want it to look more like mine, you can do that. I also have the dark scheme instead of uh, the the typical light scheme with the lighter the lighter toolbars and all that stuff. You can look into setting that up too if you want. Um, I'm also so I'm going to make my UI files available for download via Google Drive, and I'll put links to it in the supplemental materials for my lectures. So I want you to make sure and watch the lectures, read the descriptions. They might offer a little extra insight. And then look there for external links to the Google Drive where you can download all my supplemental files. And there's going to be Max files in there. There's going to be UI files. As we start our first scene, we're going to be... I'm, well, I'm going to be saving out the scene as I go along, all the different iterations of it. And so if you get lost in the lecture somewhere and you can't make your scene look like mine, then you'll just be able to download my file, load it up, and start from there. So don't get discouraged if you get if you fall behind or if you can't get it to work right. Just try to keep try to follow along as much as possible. Load my files if you need to and try to remember and take notes and learn as much as you can as we go along.